Once upon a time, for logical reasons, a cut point for transplantation acceptability was the age of 65. We're getting older, we're surviving longer, so that doesn't make sense. But after 65, you have to be in pretty good shape. Don 70. So he may be a guy that he's doing well, the impeller's working, he's not having complication, and he's functional in society. He and his wife say, I'm back to where I was. So he's someone you may just leave alone. Ethel and I have tried to stay really focused on one day at a time and enjoy each day as a gift. And, uh, but we've had some recent discussions about transplant. Unfortunately, with transplant, there is a definite mismatch between supply and demand. There's obviously not enough organs out there for those patients that qualify for transplant. We have had circumstances where we've considered patients who were over 65, but obviously they, their physical health would have to be better. And often, a patient who gets a transplant, they're in the hospital for two to three months, sometimes five and six months. And a patient who has an LVAD needs to be in good shape to potentially enter that. You don't want to get into an arm wrestling match about whether you should have it or I should have it, but it is a scarce resource. And if you think about a younger person having it, their quality of life, then it definitely needs prayerful consideration. I want a better quality of life so I can be with my family. But knowing that somebody else has to die for me to get that quality of life. You know, or somebody's family member is gonna, uh, you know. Which if my family member died, I know I'd wanna donate their organs to help other people too. But it's just the thought in your mind that says, wow, someone's gonna die before I can live.